Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Wolverine video. And today, what I got for you guys here is a video that breaks down the reveal trailer that we got for Marvel's Wolverine. We're going to go over some Easter eggs, some things you may have missed, as well as some hints as to where this game might take place and who one of the villains might end up being. Now, before we get into everything, wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you're hyped for the Wolverine game like we all are, leaving a like would be awesome. If you're new here and you want to keep up to date on Marvel's Wolverine, I got you covered. I'm making videos on all the news and updates for this game, reacting to upcoming trailers and gameplay that we will get, showcasing gameplay for you guys when the game comes out, topic videos like this one, and so much more. If that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You'll be immediately notified when a video goes live. Lastly, wanted to remind you guys that I am sponsored by G Fuel. Grab yourself some tubs, some shaker cups, some cans, or some starter kits. The link is going to be in the description box below. Just make sure if you grab anything from G Fuel that you use code Caboose to check out and support your boy. And with all that being said, let's get into this okay so it's been about a week since the playstation showcase and since marvel's wolverine was revealed to us of course it's developed by insomniac games it meant to be a playstation 5 exclusive and i'm sure we've all had an opportunity now to watch this trailer about a thousand times if not more today we're going to jump in and we're going to look at it a little more in depth because there are some crucial things in here that give us a bit of an idea as to what's going on with marvel's wolverine okay so the trailer opens up in this completely destroyed bar and we actually know what bar this is is, which is pretty key we'll get into that in just a moment though and this is becoming a bit of a staple for the character of logan him in destroyed bars with a bunch of people that he's beaten up or potentially even killed has just become a setting that is all too familiar with the character of wolverine and we can see that this is once again that familiar setting and logan's chilling at the bar there's a bunch of people who are knocked out potentially even dead someone's missing a boot but one guy remains one guy survives and he'll be key as well we'll get into that that in a moment but the next shot is the most important shot of the trailer where a majority of the easter eggs that we're going to go over come from we also got an official screenshot of this exact moment from the trailer so we get to look at everything in crispy 4k quality and zooming in first things first we can notice there a blackboard that says the princess bar this is a famous fictional bar in the marvel universe that takes place in madripoor which is also a fictional place in the marvel universe and we can actually see some posters for madripoor Rapport to the side there of Logan's head and all the way on the right. So that is most likely going to be the setting in which this game takes place. If you recently watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus, you may recognize the name Madripoor as we visited it in that show and that's where we got the iconic Zemo dancing scene. <laughs> Moving on though, if we zoom in back on that photo, we can see a cash register there with a price listed at $19.74. 1974 is the year in which Wolverine made his first appearance. So this is a nice homage or a nice little Easter egg to hint towards that. And speaking of his first appearance, there is a license plate on the wall all the way to the right side that is from Quebec, which is in Canada, the place Wolverine resides. I love that they're doing that. Tons of Easter eggs here, and you can see that Insomniac is really paying attention to detail. But on the license plate, it says HLK 181. This is the Incredible Hulk issue 181, which is the exact first appearance of Wolverine. Again, so much attention to detail here. And just from this one shot alone, you can tell the amount of care and passion that Insomniac has for the character of Logan, for the character of Wolverine. And it gives me so much faith that they are going to adapt this character and do him justice in this game telling you i cannot wait they're going to absolutely do a bang up job here now there's one more thing i want to point out on this wall of easter eggs and it's a very key one that may prove a connection between marvel's wolverine and marvel's spider-man i don't want to say that it's confirmed but it's all too coincidental and you're going to see based on the evidence i'm going to provide for you guys here so on the wall you can see there a radio station is listed it is radio low town 1048 now that number 1048 is key because in the marvel comics in the marvel universe 1048 is the earth number assigned to the earth for marvel spider-man the game now let's switch over to the trailer or the teaser and announcement for marvel spider-man 2. for as long as i can remember I have looked 
for an equal. And what do you see there on that convenience store? Well, it's numbered 1048. I feel like Insomniac knows exactly what they're doing here, and I like to consider this some evidence that may prove that Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel's Wolverine are in a shared universe. Couple this with what Ryan Schneider had said on the PlayStation blog post that was put up with the reveal of Wolverine and Spider-Man 2, and I'd say there's a likely chance these games are going to cross over at some point, or at the very least, they're in a shared world. I mean, Wolverine's all the way in Madripoor, Spider-Man's still in New York, so it's not like anything that's going on within their stories are going to cross over specifically but maybe down the line we'll see the two characters interact which would be amazing next up in the trailer and this is the last thing i wanted to break down here is that final thug in the bar that survives this massacre that logan had laid on everyone and he's approaching wolverine with a knife in hand but you can see a close-up of his arm and you can see that he has something that looks like a tiger tattoo now why this is important is because well if the game does take place in madripoor and that is a tiger tattoo this could be a gang that works for tiger tiger a villain in the comics who's had several run-ins with the x-men and as well with wolverine specifically in madripoor her name is jasen hone and i hope i'm pronouncing that right and as i said She's had several run-ins with the X-Men and as well with Wolverine. She inevitably fled to Madripoor where she gets involved in the criminal life and that's where we may see her in this game. She doesn't really have any superpowers from what I understand. She is really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and of course she's great with knives and she's great with guns, so there's that. And I'd like to say that this pretty much confirms one of the villains that we'll run up against in Marvel's Wolverine and what exactly her involvement will be and how we'll see her interact with Wolverine is yet to be seen but based on that tattoo and based on the previous Easter eggs on the wall from the bar that Logan is sitting at, we can infer that the game takes place in Madripoor and as well that Tiger Tiger will be involved. I am seriously so hyped for Marvel's Wolverine and what Insomniac has planned because just based on this one minute teaser, we can see a ton of Easter eggs and references to some really obscure stuff from the comic books and you gotta love that attention to detail that Insomniac has clearly provided with Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales. They are going to do Wolverine justice. I know it. In Insomniac, we trust. And with that being said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Was there anything I may have missed in the Marvel's Wolverine trailer from my breakdown here? If I did, let me know in the comments or point out some things that you have noticed when watching this trailer thousands of times like myself. If there was anything in this breakdown that you just found out about through my breakdown, hit that like button it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later